Now I would like to talk a little bit about project settings. Notice that the project is in bold and it's even though it's the last one on the list it's the one that uh, needs to be dealt with uh, at least once for every project. Okay so I'm not going to get into everything but you can have separate rules for uppers and bases and you can pick your material um, set right here and uh, change libraries if you wish. Uh, you, you can adjust your floor height uh, if you uh, are working on a second floor uh, on a model uh, and, and you can uh, override uh, your insertion for your uppers. Uh, there are many kitchens now that have two different heights or more even for upper cabinets and it's easy to, to, to manage it here. Uh, you can also renumber uh, your batch edits if you want. Uh, locks are important uh, so that your templates don't change and as you can see there's all these little lock uh, um, symbols so if I unlock the doors now the doors uh, change and they're no longer locked. Okay, and uh, you also pick your your doors. Right now, we're we've got plain doors for your top drawer, your top or your other doors, and even your base and upper cabinet doors are all uh, uh, plain. Okay, and you set your handles, your standard handle locations, this sort of thing. Okay, set this first, uh, and the reason being is uh, mo some of you might say, well, no, I c why not just set it right here? And yes, you can, but th then you eliminate or, or make it more difficult to uh, do batch editing uh, because the batch editing uh, uses the project settings. Uh, so we'll get into that uh, shortly. Um, here uh, and we'll go get into more details on if different. Okay, drop in your cabinet and uh, it's taken on the project values. Thank you very much. Bye now.